Flight 144, written by Jack T. Chick. Oh no. Excuse me, miss. Are we in trouble? No, ma'am. Everything is under control. This is Flight 144. One engine is dead. Now the other one's on fire. Zambolo Airport, three hours earlier. Why the big crowd? Some famous missionaries are flying to the States. The Davidsons are going to America to raise funds for another hospital. We'll be back soon. We all love you. We'll be praying for you. These are your seats, Reverend. Wow, they're sitting next to me. Delighted to meet you, Ed. You've been in Africa for 50 years? Yes, and with God's help, we've built five schools and four hospitals. One just for lepers. Plus, we've fed and clothed thousands of dear natives. Tell us about yourself, Ed. I was a cook on a tanker until I killed the guy in a drunken brawl. I just got out of jail last week. That's where I get saved. The only guy I led to the Lord was my cellmate. That's nothing compared to what you've done. I can't imagine how many crowns you two will get in heaven. Well, we have spent our entire lives living the golden rule and doing good works for God. Good works are fine, but how many sinners have been saved through your ministry? It must be thousands, right? No, Ed, you don't understand. God called us to help these dear people lead better lives. You mean you don't tell them how to get saved? Reverend Davidson, are you sure that you and your wife are ready to meet the Lord? Attention, this is your captain. Please fasten your seatbelt and prepare for an emergency landing. The Bible says that good works can't save anyone. The only work that matters is what Jesus did for us on the cross. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Why don't you two give your hearts to Christ now? Just shut up. Can't you see we're going to crash? Crash! No one survives. Where are we going? To your beautiful mansion in heaven. In my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. It's time for judgment. Now, my dear, we'll be rewarded for all our good works. The Davidsons stand before God. I never knew you. Depart from me. Hold on a minute. You've made a horrible mistake, Lord. Don't you know who we are? We sacrificed everything to serve people in your name. We suffered for 50 years in remote jungles of Africa, far from our home and family. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, evil. We were good people. We did everything we could to help those poor people in need. There is none righteous, no not one. But we are all as, un, as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Our good works far exceeded any bad we did. Don't our good works count for anything? No, I did all the work necessary for salvation when I died on the cross. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. Lord, we met many wonderful people of other religions who did good works in your name. What about all of them? In the Bible, I said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. This is horrifying. That means millions of people who are trusting in their good works are going to hell. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Yes, that's true. Here's why. Because of Adam and Eve's rebellion, sin entered the world. For many years, people sacrificed animals to temporarily cover their sins. Then, to take care of the sin problem once and for all, I became man and shed my precious blood to wash away your sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It is finished. Three days later, I rose from the dead and later returned to heaven to sit by my father. 
my precious gift, eternal life, was now available to all mankind. Those who place their trust in me, Jesus Christ, receive this gift. Those who trust in their good works are lost. He that believeth on the Son hath ever everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. If good works could save, do you think I'd have suffered and died on the cross? I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, good works, then Christ is dead in vain. This isn't fair. We weren't told any of this. Yes, it's all in the Bible, but you rejected my word and me, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Don't let this happen to you. Trust Jesus Christ right now. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.